Bakugo was sat on one of the couches in the dormitory common area. People were playing music, dancing, and all over having a good time around him. And this greatly aggravated him because he wasn't having a good time. And the last thing he wanted to see was everyone else having a good time. Christmas had passed, but Bakugo was still acting like a Scrooge. He rolled his eyes when Kaminari popped himself beside him and started talking up a storm. He wished the idiot would go stick his finger in an electrical socket and be done for the night because he was not, under any circumstances, in the mood. And just his luck, with the new year rolling in soon, he was already going to start it off in a bad mood. You should go talk to her, Kaminari said suddenly, noticing his friend's ill mood. He leaned back with his arms slung across the back of the couch. He was trying to act cool, and it wasn't working. Bakugo only became more irritated that the guy who couldn't get a girlfriend was telling him how to interact with his. He glared at him, but the electric blonde didn't seem phased. He only smiled. I mean it. You two haven't spoken to each other in what, a week now? Since Christmas, Bakugo grumbled disgruntedly. He crossed his arms and slouched further into the couch. A hand met his shoulders, and he turned his gaze back up. Kaminari didn't look as chipper now. Look, you're not having fun here, and she's not even here. Well then where the fuck is she? He suddenly burst. A few heads turned, but upon seeing it was just Bakugo, they went back to their little party. She's in her dorm. Something about parties being stupid, Kaminari said. He was about to go into further detail when Bakugo stood up. Hey, if you manage to bring her down here, do it soon. There's only seven minutes left. Bakugo ignored him, getting on the elevator and trying to think back to the fight he had with you. It was over something stupid, he remembered that much, but whatever the actual reason was, he couldn't grasp it. The entire fight wasn't particularly bad, though it had caused you to give him the silent treatment for a week now, and he hated it. He had tried talking to you, but you were adamant about not talking to him. At all. So he started ignoring you altogether. It got so bad, you stopped looking at each other. It was a waiting game to see who would cave first and apologize, and he was starting to see that he was the loser. He knocked on the door, waiting a few moments before knocking again. Go away! I don't want to go down there! I'm not playing truth or dare, and I'm not drinking anything you've brought me! Clearly, someone had already been by to try and coax you into partying. He knocked again. Oh, for fuck's sake! A few angry footsteps and the rattling of the knob. He swung the door open and glared at him. Fuck off! He grabbed your waist before you could slam the door, pulling you close. You were still an angry ball of fury, but you didn't fight him. You were waiting to hear what he had to say. He licked his lips. Let's forget all that shit. It's New Year's Eve. Let's start new, he said bluntly, watching your eyes as they lessened in the coldness. You were still upset, at the least, but he could tell you were warming up to the idea rather quickly. Fine. You told him. You both could hear faint cheering from just the floor below. The countdown. He captured your lips with his. And you couldn't agree more that starting new was probably the best thing to do. It's Bakugo, bitch! Happy New Year! Ba 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 Hey, 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 and twerk to this, twerk to this, twerk to this, twerk, twerk to this. It's 2020 in this bitch, 2020 in this bitch. Did you do boom, boom, Shit, man. It's Baku Showtime. Bakugo grumbled disgruntled gruntedly. Brain is not working. Disgruntledly. Nailed it. Kaminari didn't look as chipper now. Kalamari! Uh Kaminari will forever be Kalamari. Bakugo go 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 go. <clears throat> Bakugo voice 101. Start with your voice in a head voice. Then you take it down to a throat voice. And now you're talking a bit more like a man. And you yell all the time, so it's kind of like a hey! And Bakugo voice inspiration comes from Mayday. Ooh, licking his lips, bound to go round round. God damn it, can't even say sentences. Go, 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 go. <laughs>
the drum solo. What does my life come to? He was starting to see that he was the loser. <laughs> loser. He captured your lips with his, and you couldn't agree. <laughs> about is Bakugo just going happy new year and it's just like in dubstep blah 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 I have a sentence left to read this is why it takes so long to edit these videos Baku, yo 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 what's up he wasn't having a good time bro I'm straight up not having a good time